The Conservative Political Action Conference wrapped up Friday, but one group is still getting heat for some of the comments made at the conference during a talk about how Republicans could reach more minorities. Two students from Townsend University spoke up and suggested, this is not a joke, that maybe segregation and slavery were not that bad after all. Take a look at this. My, my problem is why can't we be more like Booker T. Washington Republicans and just make a statement that let's be unified like a hand, but separate like the finger. Okay. The question is why can't we be more unified by Booker T. Washington Republicans versus Frederick Douglass? They call Booker T. Washington the second the Frederick Douglass. Mm -hmm. the, the Frederick Douglass was the originator. Okay? So when you studied Douglass, Douglass was not... How about the unity and diversity? What, what about it? Why Douglas talked we, about that. Give me an example. Give me an example. Here's an example. When Douglas escaped from slavery, I think 10 years or 20 years after he escaped from slavery, he writes a letter to his former slave pastor and said, I forgive you for all the things you did to me. Forgiving him and shelter and food all those I things? Mean, no. He, listen, wait back now. <laughs> The students who belong to, to college's white student union defended their comments today. They say they attended CPAC because they feel the GOP is not conservative enough. Here to break this down for us, we have HuffPost College editor, Tyler Kincaid. Hey, Tyler. Uh, Tyler, hey, how are you? good, man. So again, I want to reiterate, this is not a this is not a satire, this is not a spoof. This really happened, and as extraordinarily idiotic as it seems, Tell us about what we know about this incident. Uh, well, the White Student Union actually popped up last fall. Um, they, it was a, a few members from a, a disbanded uh, group from a year before that um, was criticized for a lot of the same things for being, uh, for being perceived as racist. And now they, they've come back and tried to start this White Student Union. Uh, and Towson is in, it's in Maryland. It's not too far from Baltimore. So it wasn't much of a trip for them to get down to to CPAC in uh, National Harbor. Um, so apparently that room was full of about um, a couple dozen members of the White Student Union, from what I understand. And uh, they went there thinking that the, they were gonna, the GOP was gonna be told to moderate, to be more accepting of minorities, other races, uh, women, uh, to be open to LGBT rights. Uh, and they went there kind of planning for something like this, challenge them on this kind of thing. Um, and so it, it was shocking because I, I think it's interesting. There's, there's a woman you can see in the video towards the front of the audience who turns around and her, her face is, she's gasping and there's someone next to her. It looks like he thinks it's maybe a joke. Like someone snuck in there to do like a daily show segment, but it's not. And he's, I, I've spoken with uh, the founder. He calls himself founder and commander, Matthew Heimbach, who was next to that student who was standing in the video. Um, and he's, you know, he says it's not racism. He calls it uh, race realism. Uh, but they apparently believe this and they, I mean, they're prepared. They know what they're, they know their view viewpoint, I should say. He calls it race realism, but in fact, I'll feel free to go so far as to say it's racism. Let's, let's, let's go over one more thing that he said. We probably caught in the video that he responded um, to the discussion of Frederick Douglass writing a letter forgiving his former slave owner by saying, quote, for giving him shelter and food, end quote. So essentially, he's, 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 he's saying slavery is fine here. As you said, people in the audience gasp. They turn around and look at him. Does he intend to go forward with, uh, with this white student union movement? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the question remains about how much the university is going to tolerate it. Uh, but they, uh, they've said that they plan to start doing some patrols on campus and um, saying that not enough people are pay attention to when crimes are committed against white people. Um, but they, you know, they said that. And then in subsequent interviews with The Guardian and The Blaze, a, a conservative blog, um, and The Guardian, he initially said that he couldn't, uh, the Scott Terry, the man that was speaking who defended slavery, he initially told The Guardian he, he couldn't categorically call all of slavery evil um, saying that there were some people who were bad, but basically that not everyone treated slaves horribly. I mean, giving, putting it aside that they were slaves to begin with. Um, and then he later told the, the blaze, no, I don't, I don't support slavery. Um, so I think, I think in subsequent interviews, he kind of didn't, 
he wanted to walk it back a little bit, but they're not walking back this white student union movement. And um, I, from what I saw on the internet, there was some neo-Nazi and some white nationalist uh, websites who were celebrating them. Uh, this group is, uh, it, this is a group of college students, mind you, has already been designated a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center, which uh, they kind of embrace that um, because they, I guess, view the SPLC as a, as a joke. Yeah, well, I, I'll tell you what I view as a joke. These guys and their white student un union movement, I think it's frankly despicable and, and unbelievable. And whether or not they walk back, uh, you know, what they've said, they've still said it. It's on a videotape for everybody to see.